But we begin tonight with a new push to give more survivors of sexual assault a chance for justice. Good evening and welcome to 7 Action News at 11. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. Some lawmakers say that Michigan's statute of limitations falls far short compared to many other states. But new legislation would extend the time victims have to come forward from age 28 to age 52. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast talked to a survivor who says Michigan needs to change. I was a gymnast growing up, started at the age of three years old. As a young child all the way through college at the University of Oklahoma, gymnastics was Mackenzie Wofford's life, spending years at the Caroli Ranch where Larry Nasser worked with young gymnasts. I experienced sexual assault there and didn't come to terms with it for a while. And whenever everyone started coming out about stuff, it really, I, I was in a den denial for a little bit. After Nasser's trial unfolded in a Michigan courtroom, Michigan passed reforms on its statute of limitations. But still today, Michigan lawmakers say it didn't go far enough. Our statute of limitations for criminal sexual conduct is among the narrowest in the entire country. State Representative Julie Brixey is proposing new legislation that would raise the age minors are able to come forward from age 28, where it stands today, to age 52, inspired by not only survivors of Nasser, but also survivors of Dr. Robert Anderson at the University of Michigan. Survivors really shouldn't have to hire a lobbyist and pass legislation to seek justice in the courts, everybody, no matter who their abuser is, should have access to our justice system. And that's exactly what this bill package does. According to Child USA, 52 is the average age survivors of sexual abuse come forward, something attorneys like Jessica Glynn see firsthand. I have represented many survivors. Glynn says many of them suffered abuse as a child and are often impacted by statute of limitations. What is it like, you know, as an attorney to, to have to kind of tell someone that, you know, that, that there's nothing you can do to help them out? It is re-victimizing a survivor a second time. And that is what our criminal justice system does repeatedly to survivors of sexual abuse. Brixie has introduced similar legislation before that didn't pass. She and many survivors hope this year will be the right time. Just it hits home because I, if I would have been maybe cut off from things just because it was too late for me to come out, it would have been... Uh, pretty disappointing, just invalidating, I feel like, to know, oh, well, it did happen to me, but it's too late to come out now, so why would I? And this package of nine bills will be introduced tomorrow morning at a press conference in Lansing. Three of the bills establish a survivor's bill of rights. I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.